of evolution of digital machining. File Open Opening a file in version 9 was quite complicated. As you can see in the next video, you need to navigate through various menus which can be cumbersome and time consuming. The time required to open the file and render graphics was also frustrating at times. The file open process in X9 was streamlined, allowing the user to open and view files much quicker. This process requires fewer clicks and therefore increased efficiency and productivity. Drag and drop procedure, regardless of file type, cuts down on unnecessary clicking even more, which increases efficiency and productivity further. Translate to origin. Moving a part to the origin in version 9 could be a difficult procedure. Without solid functionality, the process was even more cumbersome. Version 9 required wireframe geometry in order to have a selectable point, so wireframe creation on services was required before being able to translate the entities. With the introduction of X9, solid functionality became a standard included with any level of product. Solid edge and point recognition was added, therefore wireframe creation became unnecessary. With this addition, along with move to origin functionality being introduced, the process of moving a part to the origin was vastly improved. With the introduction of the new ribbon and tab style interface, the process of moving parts to the origin was simplified even further. Two clicks moves all entities visible on the screen to the point selected to be the origin. Toolpathing Version 9 did not have an active operations manager, meaning to gain access to the tool paths you had previously created, you needed to click through multiple menus to open it. Even the process of selecting a tool path selection was cumbersome. It involved navigating through multiple menus before arriving at the desired tool path. When the Active Operation Manager was introduced with the X series of Mastercam, efficiency was greatly improved. This gave users the ability to easily navigate between copy, paste, and import operations without needing to access multiple menus. Multi-threading was also introduced in all high-speed toolpaths, allowing for toolpaths to calculate in the background so the user can continue working. The interface introduced with the 2017 release of Mastercam 
simplified the tool pathing procedure even further. All high speed operations have an improved workflow thanks to the introduction of variable stock to leave. User selects drive geometry and the amount of stock desired to be left on that geometry all in the same dialog. No need to jump back and forth between menus or creating multiple toolpaths. Multi-threading will be introduced in all toolpaths, allowing the user to continue working while any toolpath is generating. Backplot. Backplot in version 9 was quite archaic and hard to use. The user was given very little control and it was not possible to start or stop the backplot at any given point. The toolpath was only displayed upon completion of the backplot function, meaning the user could not see where the tool was at any point in the toolpath. Backplot functionality was greatly improved with the release of X9. Users were given the ability to scrub back and forth through the backplot display, allowing the user to pause the backplot at any point. Users could also zoom in and out on a particular part feature and view the tool in relation to the part geometry. Two thousand nineteen has a very similar backplot functionality, but with the addition of being able to render custom tools much faster. Generation of the backplot interface is also much quicker, improving productivity. Verify. The verification process in version nine was not user friendly. There was no functionality to pause the verify process and inspect how the tool was interacting with the material. The Verify function in X9 was vastly improved. Sharper graphical display, as well as the ability to scrub back and forth through the toolpaths, greatly improved the user experience. The Verify function was improved even further in 2019, with calculation times cut dramatically. Custom tool rendering as well as stock model generation were also greatly improved. 